Now let's learn how to control someone from the mount position. So I'm on top and mount here. So what y'all are going to try to do is buck and launch me off on the side here. So what I have to do is control his hips and I have to have a wide, nice base, possibly airplane base right here, okay? So now if he tries to launch me, he can go back and forth. I have his hips and I have my hands. So I can possibly throw the hook so that keeps him from launching me, okay? So now let's say if he does go side to side, I can use my anchor and I can post out. So back and forth, I hook and I post. So that's going to keep him from rolling side to side. As you can see, I switch my leg too. I have that hook in there as well to try to take out that post. The other things that he's going to try to do is bench me off. So what I do is I take my weight off and I insert one and then I insert the other. Boom. Back to airplane base. He benches. One. Airplane base. And every time I want to get wide and low, so he has to bench my whole body weight each repetition that he's trying to bench me off. One last one. Boom. Boom. Wide and low again. The other thing that he's going to try to do is a chicken wing because then he can trap me. So, say if I was posted here, he would bite in and he can flip me over right there, right? Same thing with the choke, same with the punch block variation. He's going to roll me off, okay? So, what I have to do there then, I have my wide base, hips buried, he tries the hook, is I circle. I post out. So he's trying to get me, just lift it and put it back. And eventually he's going to exhaust and then I throw in an armbar or American armbar. So that's your positional controls from the mount position.